you can say it's very sensual when you eat it. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Johan as usual and uh, today we are at a Xinjiang restaurant. So Xinjiang is always halal food. So there's no pork dishes here since uh, Xinjiang is a place in China where it's uh, dominated by Muslims. I've been to this place before so it's one of the popular uh, Xinjiang places in Shanghai. Also they are open 24-7 and uh, their hot dishes actually start from 10.30 p.m. onwards. So we're going to try some uh, chuan chuans again. So it's going to be mutton skewers. The best part that I like about Xinjiang cuisine is uh, people over here are so happy. Some places actually they do a traditional uh, Xinjiang dance when they, when they serve you. Also they serve you like some hot tea with a lot of dates and a lot of mixed fruits and herbs which is actually good for digestion. So guys, we have just been served some, uh, some mutton soup. This is a Oh, it's Apparently, this is a small portion. So, I don't know how big is the big portion. We give you some straws actually to suck the bone marrow. That is so cool. Okay guys, here we go, here we go. Look at how tender this meat is, like for hours and hours of boiling this meat and having all of this meat inside the soup. Wow, this looks so heavenly. It's not gamey at all. The meat is so tender that it's falling apart. Oh. Soup is good. Just the right amount of flavor. You can actually smell the mutton. Look at the bones in this. Guys, going in for the bone marrow. Bone marrow has always been my favorite. All oh, the juices inside this, wow. I'm gonna use the traditional way of actually eating a bone marrow. Put a straw inside this. It is crazy, I've never done this before. Actually very effective. So pickled vegetables, going in for it. Mmm, this actually feels like home to me because out there in India you have something called chaat and they actually mix a lot of these vegetables. They mince it together and they mix it along with the, with the snacks. So this tastes exactly like Indian chaat for me. You come to a Xinjiang place and you don't order Yang Rou Chuan, it is definitely incomplete. I'm going in for skewer number one. It's so hot and crispy yet so juicy at the same time. Top class, top class Yang Roch one. Whoa, order for their naan. This is how I actually prefer eating. Like, for the Xinjiang pancakes in this. This is how I love eating my naan with meat. The, the naan is very soft. You see, it, it breaks apart so easily. A lot of sesame seeds on this as well. A very good midnight place when you're drunk. I think after eating this, you feel satisfied. All in all guys, a very good Xinjiang place. Must try. I'll see you for the next video. Peace. So guys, we are at number two spot, Yeshari. So Yeshari has been one of the most reliable Xinjiang places that I have actually been to. It has been open for many years and has many branches. I've been to this place before a couple of times. Of course, I keep coming here because it is it's consistent for so many years. We've ordered for the tap hanji. Also some spicy fried beef. Some naan. And of course, their signature chuan chuan. So guys, I'm pumped to actually show you how tasty their food is. We have just ordered for a hot milk tea with uh, a little bit of sugar. Look at how, how colorful their glass is. More flavor of milk, less flavor of tea but it's soothing. So guys, we've just got our first dish here, tapanji, which also translates as a big bowl of chicken. So along with the chicken, you also have some noodles, some uh, potatoes. So for me, this actually tastes like a curry, but a little lighter in flavor. I'm gonna get these noodles on my plate. Piece of soft chicken. Okay, I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna see how this one is. A little bite of chicken. You can say it has a little bit of tanginess on it. I can feel the chilies, it's not, but it's not really spicy. It's only for the flavor. The noodles are boiled and put into the gravy. The potatoes are so tender. 
Oh, they actually boiled really well. I can say it's very sensual when you eat it. Some more dishes just arrived. Some celery, along with some stir-fried beef. For people who actually know me, I love celtis and I also love celery. So we're going to prefer the beef first. Oh, stir-fried beef actually tastes like capsicum, which is uh, chili pepper. The celery. Here we go. Oh, you can actually feel the crunch. This is how you need to actually cook a celery. You don't have to cook it to the extreme. Just stir-fry it a little bit so that you still have the crunch when you eat it. I'm going in for the eggplants now. So these eggplants, basically, they put it along with some minced meat and also some carrots. It actually goes well with rice because it's a little on the savory side. It's actually not savory like how I thought it would be. If I eat it without the rice, it tastes better for me. I've got some traditional naan here. I love the way they cut it into a small pizza. So it's much more easy to bite. Yeah. It's actually very soft, you see. So far, so good. I'm still waiting for my mutton skewers. It is still on the way. I can't wait to actually combine it along with the naan and eat it together. Skewers are here, guys. I'm gonna unwrap it. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. Sorry, guys. I'm going in for skewer number one. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, wow. Seasoning and spice is right on point, although my way of eating it is like this. Here we go. Yes guys, the naan actually tastes better along with the lamb skewers. Also another idea to eat naan, dip it with the tapanji gravy. And what do you do after dipping it? Eat it, right? That's what I'm gonna do. Carbs with gravy. Always a go-go. Alright guys, that is it for me for Xinjiang restaurants. There are more Xinjiang restaurants to actually explore. So this is not going to be my last video on Xinjiang restaurants. I will see you for the next one. Peace.